Hey guys, this is Janice. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how I propagate succulents from leaves. So this is my opalina. So it's quite it's quite big. And I'll be showing you how I've taken um, removed the leaves so I could grow new pups from them so normally normally from the one leaf you can get several new plants because you can see there's one two there's two heads on this leaf this one I believe has more there's one two three heads on this one so you can multiply your collection just by taking leaf cuttings and I'll just show you some more examples this is a golden goddess. I'm not sure the name of this one. So if you guys know, please let me know what this is. Um, this one is... Is it Graptivaria bronze? Something like that. They're so cute when you grow them from leaves. I love watching them grow. Okay, so this one's a Graptivaria crystal. I'll just show you the root system on these. They grow very well. So these are quite easy to look after. Um, and then this is a ghost plant. Okay, so when the leaf looks dried up like that, you can just pull that leaf off. Or you could wait for it to, to fall off on its own. So that's that's the mother leaf and it's dead now. Okay, so that one's growing well. Okay, so now let's go over to the opalina. It's also flowering here in um, in Australia. It's spring, so it's about to bloom. Okay, so here there's a dead leaf. That won't work, that won't propagate, but I like to take it from the bottom and you just twist it from side to side until it comes off. You wanna make sure that you have a clean cut because that's where the little baby rosette will form at the, the end of that tip, just like these ones here. Okay, so I might take a few. Okay, there we go. Let me try, let me see if I can get, if I can show you the stem. So I'm just twisting it from side to side and it's come off easily. Do another one. There we go. Not all the leaves will propagate, so you will have some successes and some that don't work. So I like to take a good handful or more. So there we go. I think I'll just do maybe two more. That one. And one from here, there. And you can hardly notice that you've taken leaf cuttings from the bottom. See, the rosette is still intact. Whoops, dropped that one. So that's how I take my leaf cuttings to propagate and multiply my collection. All right. Um, also, when, the, when roots start to form, that's when I start to spray them with water. So you just mist it lightly until they develop into um, more mature plants. Then you can water it more thoroughly. So this one looks like it has a pretty good root system. I'm just going to pull it out and show you. So you can see the roots there at the base. And since all that soil has come off with it, I could plant that up on its own. 
all right guys hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions and i shall see you next time bye